Hello, my friends. Happy Thursday. Thursday means uh, Thursday throwdown. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up on my computer. Uh, let's just make sure there's no volume. Make sure we're in the right place. Um, I don't see me. If you're, oh, there we are. If you're watching live, go ahead and tell me where you're watching from. Always good to see. All right. So today, we're going to do a Thursday Throwdown, of course. I'll share with you my virtual card class for later this month. And um, we're going to go through the retiring colors in case you missed that last week. Um, Stampin' Up! is doing a color refresh in the new catalog, which means we get new colors to play with, but that also means we're going to say goodbye to a few. And there's a few that I'm a little sad about, but... I will recover. <laughs> Crumb cake is still there, so I don't need to quit, so that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in today. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. Um, bear with me as I try and get the screen correct when I flip this. Hold on one second. Don't mind my messy desk. Nothing has changed. And you know what? I didn't change my grid paper today. I've been playing this morning, and I didn't change it over. Um, I apologize about that, but it is what it is. Uh, let me see. I think I need to move this up just a little bit. And over. Okay. Oops, wrong way. There we go. All right, I think that's better. Is it crooked? Mm, it is crooked. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I made it worse or better. Let's see. Uh, all right. While we do that, I'm going to watch this. Yeah, it looks like it's still crooked. There's a delay, but I'm trying to figure out. I think I want to go this way. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, that makes me happy. It was bugging me. I'm on the screen there. Okay, so let's first go ahead and look at some of our retiring colors. So again, don't mind my messy grid paper I've already been playing but we'll we'll make a mess in a minute anyway so it doesn't matter um here we go so the retiring colors besides the in color so of course we're losing um evening evergreen pale papaya soft succulent fresh well we're not losing fresh freesia it's coming back immediately and then um what was the other one uh sweet sorbet so those no that's not the right one what color is that for, um, polish pink. That's the other one. So those are our retiring in colors, but, um, those always kind of retire. So we're expecting that. These are the core colors that are disappearing. So mid macaron is one of them. This is one of my favorites only because I've been using it in my wedding album. So I'm definitely going to be stocking up on that stuff. Um, also retiring is pear pizzazz. So saffron. And I'll say I was kind of sad about this until I saw the new colors. And there's an amazing new yellow that I'll, I know will make me happy. So I'm okay with that. Blushing Bride, Rich Razzleberry. Then we have Crumb Cake's Sister, <laughs> Sahara Sand, which I am a little sad about because I do like to use both of them. But I've got Crumb Cake, so I'll survive. We also have Soft Suede is also retiring. I'm kind of sad about that. It's a nice brown that I, I really like. And there is a new brown coming. Jury's still out on how much I like that one, but I do really love Soft Suede. So that one's a little bit of a punch to the gut. Mary Merlot is retiring. Pacific, Pacific Point is retiring. Uh, Mango Melody. So the rest of these I really wasn't all that upset about until you hit this one. This one really punched me in the gut. Uh, Bermuda Bay is also retiring. And this one is one of my very, very favorite colors. So that was a little sad too. So those are your retiring color, core colors. So um, we'll get 11 new or returning colors. So we'll be okay. But I'm just really sad about that little Bermuda Bay, right? So those are our retiring colors. I also told you I would show you uh, my virtual card class for later this month in case you want to grab the bundle. This is using an online exclusive, so I'm going to use it today and Thursday Throwdown as well. It's the Tropical Leaf Bundle, 
And I just checked before I went live. It is still good and ready to order. You can, of course, order it as a bundle and get the 10% off rather than ordering them individually. But super cute. Here's the cards we'll make for our... Um, virtual card class at the end of the month so how that works is um, when you place an order and you know what I'll do it for any time from now through the whole month if you order using the host code which I actually didn't pull up yet um, you'll get these card kits anyway and if your order is over 150 you'll still get it so for the whole month of April I'm gonna go ahead and do a virtual card class for you um, because I know there's lots of good things that you guys are ordering on the last chance list which is also up right now so these are the cards that I will send you um, the card kits and then on the last Tuesday of the month I will actually um, demo these cards live so you can see them in action so those of you that are in Shore Club you'll get the tutorial for those uh, shortly when the new magazine comes out so those that's why I was actually working on that today is because that needs to happen ASAP so in the meantime let's go ahead and make a card today so if you're watching live go ahead and give me a shout because it looks like there's people here, but I'm not seeing any comments, which makes me sad. All right, so I have this piece of flirty flamingo cardstock that was left over from before. Um, I'm going to use my bone folder on it because it's kind of popping up on me, so I'm going to get a good crease on that. And then um, now it sits nice and flat. And I'm going to, I have this piece of um, embossed. 30 Flamingo as well, and I love a good tone-on-tone, -tone, especially when you emboss it. Um, this is using the Crosshatch embossing folder, which is part of the online exclusives as well. It's a 3D embossing folder. It has three of them, actually. They're phenomenal. Um, unfortunately, those are currently unavailable, but I will let you know that when they come back in stock, because you need them. They're amazing. I'll show you. Um, it's the... Let me find them. It's like a little... Ah, where is that one? I just saw it. There it is. So it's like a little flowery, it looks kind of starfishy to me. Um, the crosshatch one, which I just showed you, and then this little polka dot one, which is the one I used here. It's like a large polka dot, which you all know I love a polka dot. So um, really good embossing folders. Like I said, those are currently unavailable, but I will let you know when they're back because they're phenomenal. All right, um, let's go ahead and just add some twine to this because I just know, even though I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna want some twine on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using the linen thread, which is my favorite. You get a nice um, amount of linen thread on that roll. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tie. Let's go ahead and do a bow. Like I said, I don't even know what I'm doing yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm kind of using the same colors. One of my favorite things to do, um, it just helps you make projects faster, particularly cards, I think, is if you pick a selection of colors and you stick to them. So what I mean by that, and I'll show you in one second. Um, so if you look at these cards, what do they have in common? They have in common the colors. So it just makes it really easy to sit down and make a bunch of things if I grab my Flirty Flamingo, Basic White, Granny Apple Green, Crumb Cake, and I did throw in a little bit of Evening Evergreen, but not a lot just because that's retiring. I might actually change that to the pink um, because I'm not sure I'll have enough cardstock to do all the card kits at the end of the month. So um, I may change that. But so I'm, those are the colors that I'm using. And then I stick to the same products, right? So I'm using the bundle. I'm using the linen thread. I'm using the same embellishments, which are these. These are the um, enamel dot essentials, which I love. So it just keeps you. And then, of course, oh, yeah, I already said that the linen thread. So it makes it very easy. I did add in a punch here and there. But otherwise, like it's very easy to create your projects if you just kind of stick to the same color scheme and the same um, products and it just it reduces the overwhelm you guys because I know sometimes when we have all of the supplies all of our things it makes it super um, overwhelming to try and create because you've got too many things so thank you I'm glad you like the the sh the uh, cards I shared yes Susan those those embossing folders are phenomenal I will let you know when they're available again uh, and yes foggy here too although we're getting a little peak of blue sky now here on the Cape so hopefully soon 
Um, this one I actually bought as well for my wedding album. So those of you that don't know, Nate and I got married in Hawaii two, almost two years ago now. It'll be two years in May. And um, we used, I'm using a lot of the um, tropical themed stamps that we've had in the past for the album. And I just thought this would be a good um, addition for that album. It matches kind of the paper that we're using from a few years ago as well. So like I said, I have no idea now what I'm going to do with this. We're going to just build something. So I feel like of course we'll need a few of these so let's go ahead and stamp a couple of these and see what we come up with I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna you know what maybe we want to do a good monochromatic card do you guys like a monochromatic card I do I love a good monochromatic card and what I mean by that is it's all one color so I'm gonna stick with my flirty flamingo and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this off on my grid paper so now you know why I have all those little pieces there all those little stamped images. Oh, and you know what? It's a photopolymer stamp, and I have found with this one it works better if you stamp it on a hard surface. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that again. And I'm just stamping off because I want to do the veining as well in the same color because we're going for monochromatic. So we're going to um, stamp off so I can do the darker color after. All right, before I switch to that, let's go ahead and do a couple of the little leaves as well. So the punch obviously only punches out this large one, um, but there's the little one too. So let's go ahead and stamp a couple of those as well. And again, I'm going for kind of a monochromatic look, I think. So I'm going to pick that up. We'll stamp off and stamp a couple of those as well. All right. Whoops, I caught the edge on that one, but it's way up here, so it won't matter. Actually, I think I caught my finger. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't want to do that yet. I want to do the insides, so we're going to do the veining with the leaves. So I'll grab, there's two. Whoops. So in here, you can see here's the large and the large veining, and then the small and the small veining. So we'll go ahead and do that. And for this, I'm going to just do direct to the paper. Super easy to line up, you guys. So there's that one. Yeah, it is totally easy peasy to cut out. So that will be my plan because I definitely want them cut out. And you know me, I love to fussy cut, so it doesn't bother me at all. I know that's not everybody's favorite thing to do. But fussy cut and coloring, those are right up my alley. All right, so I'm going to stamp the insides of these like that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and punch out these. It's funny, I'm watching the video and it looks like I'm on high speed. I barely am stamping and cleaning on high speed over here. All right. I will say that even though I'm gonna go for monochromatic, I probably will add in white, even though that's not the same color, but I'll use pink ink, okay? So that still, to me, <laughs> keeps it monochromatic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, cut this out, cause it's just a little bit easier to cut when the paper is smaller. And I have no idea if I'm using one or two or all of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them and then we can play with it from there. Um, let me see what I want for sentiment too. I love the, um sentiments in here so we have love you lots thanks so much hello and the xoxo i haven't used the xoxo so maybe we'll use that one i think that goes well with pink too i'm gonna have to give this to somebody who really likes pink i can think of a couple of people all right so i'm gonna just cut that out there's one and We'll do this one as well. Like I said, I don't know if I'm using them all, but it is what it is. I'm not doing very good at cutting today. I keep, I like to leave like a little tiny border around it like the punch does, but I'm not doing so good at that with this one. But it's fine. Nobody will know. Except for you. But you guys won't tell on me. All right, so there's that and that. All right, and so now 
let's go ahead and see how we want to put this together. I don't know. It may be a little cluster. I love a good cluster. That looks kind of pretty. I might not even need the little ones that I just cut. Um, let's go ahead, leave that there for a second. Let's stamp our... Oh, cute, Sunny. That's amazing. Um, I loved that little deer, elephant, and monkey. They were cute. I'm going to go ahead and grab my XOXO. We're going to go straight down, straight up, and then straight down, straight up. And I'm going to trim that down a little bit. I think I want a nice um, thin line on this one. So we're going to just trim that like so. I might actually throw in a little bit of pattern paper too, but we'll see. Let's see where I'm at. So I don't know if I want to kind of do maybe maybe cover the uh, twine a little bit would be good. I don't know if I want it that long though. I'm thinking I'm going to cut this on an angle like that so you can still see some of that. It's kind of cute. Let's see if we can add in, like I said, a little bit of pattern paper just to... I have some of the... Um, this is the designer series paper in the color collection. So, of course, this is retiring as well. And I haven't looked recently to see if any of them out. I think the neutrals is out. Um, I don't know if this is the... Um, I do know that this is the brights. I don't know if it's actually sold out yet or not because I didn't think I was going to use it, so I didn't look. But I'm going to go ahead and use it. So I'm using the Fleur de Flamingo Designer Series Paper. We're going to cut it to an inch and a half by four. We'll try that, see what that looks like. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick it under here to kind of ground all of this stuff. And I'm not taping it down yet because I just want to see if I like it. Okay, that's that's looking cute. Um, I want to see though. I think I want a little more. Even though I'm supposed to be white, monochromatic. Just, this is more of a white vibe, but it's still monochromatic, so it gives a little bit more contrast, which I like. All right, so then those will go like that. Maybe actually, I'm gonna pop this one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And then I can put this maybe under here like that all right now we're working now we're cooking with gas you guys all right so i'm liking that then we'll add some embellishments maybe some wink of stella if i have one around here um and i think i'm gonna like it so let's go ahead and pull this apart for a second and i'm gonna put some tape on this come on and attach that down. I am going to use a little bit more adhesive because this is an embossed piece. So I want to make sure it doesn't lift. Although it's going to have so much stuff on it anyway, it probably won't lift. I'm going to line that up with the edge of the card and then straighten that out. Okay. And then we're going to tape these two down straight or flat. All right. You could do this in any color, actually. You could do this in every color. Might be cool in like some browns or blues for a guy, maybe, or for a masculine card. It could be for anybody, but more of a masculine vibe. I'm gonna pop this one up. The green leaves, these over here, no, those are just um, <laughs> where I was stamping off for my other cards. So I showed the, these are, the cards I did earlier so that was just my mess from earlier that I didn't clean up before I went live so we're working on a monochromatic card at the moment all right okay hi Becky all right I'm gonna stick this here definitely like that popped up all right my eye is twitching you guys that's been happening a lot the last day and a half anybody know why my eye twitches I think it's isn't it supposed to be stress I don't know. I don't really feel super stressed, but apparently I am because it's been going bananas the last 24 hours, I guess. 
started last night on the way home from my office. All right, actually, was it? Yeah, was it last night or the day before? I don't even know, but it's been driving me bonkers. All right, so I popped that up just because it's got the um, twine on it, so I like to add a little bit of room under there so it doesn't have a bump. There we go. All right, and then we gotta add this. Tired, that could definitely be it. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Um, I am definitely tired. Yeah, so Shelby has, she's not a cuddly puppy. She's not a cuddly dog for the most part. She's more of a free spirit and independent kind of girl. But lately, the last like two or three nights, at like 2 a.m., she decides she wants to hop on the bed, which she's normally not allowed on the bed that early. Like I'll let her on like 3.30 maybe. But she's been hopping on at around two and she like comes and like last night she even like nudged my arm like so that I could like I'd lift my arm so she could crawl under it and like so I was in a huddle with her like a little cuddle and she's done that two nights in a row like she lays the whole length of me and she tucks her arm her nose under my arm and she falls asleep and snores in my ear and I feel so bad telling her no because the first time she did it, I was like she must be sick because she doesn't normally cuddle. And then now it's become a habit. So I don't know if she's cold or if she's just, I don't know. I think there might be a little bit of separation anxiety because I've been leaving her a lot more. Um, I don't know. She's just being so silly. But I'm like, dog, now I have not slept at all. All right. So I could use the crumb cake ones to pull in the crumb cake here. Or I could do the white to stick with my white and pink. What do you guys think? Should I use crumb cake? I kind of feel like maybe I'll use crumb cake just because... It adds in, like, the contrast for that. But I could do white, too, because then it pulls out from that. What do you guys think? Yeah, she's she's not normally cuddly, Susan, but I don't know what's going on at night. She's been super cuddly. And she, like, pins me so that I'm between Nate and her. So I'm, like, literally like a little sardine between the two of them. I can't move. I can't do anything. So, all right, crumb cake it is. I like it. Um, so, yeah, she's, I don't know what's up with her, but the poor little thing makes me feel bad. So I'm going to put one there and then I'm trying to think if I want to do like a little cluster of them. I think I want to spread them out a little bit. So let's do, now you know I always do um, odd numbers. So there's three, but I want a couple more up top too. So we'll do five today and we'll do a little one up there. All right, there we go. And there you have it. Here's our finished card. What do we think of the monochromatic card? Oh, wait. Wait. But there's more. Okay. Let's add a little Wink of Stella, you guys. So I'm going to paint this leaf with a little bit of Wink. Because, you know, I can never just be done. We need to have all the things. Oh, that looks so pretty. You guys, you have to see it in person. It is beauteous. And there goes my eye again. Boy, it's annoying. I can't see because my eye keeps twitching. All right, there we go. Now we are done. I love it. All right, so can you guys see that glitter? So pretty. Love it. So there you have it. Um, I was only planning to do the three cards for virtual card class, but maybe I'll throw this one in as a freebie too. So um, if you've already ordered in April, I will include you. If you haven't and you want to use the host code, I will post that in the description here and then you can get these card kits. Um, they'll ship later in the month. Um, I'll try and actually, maybe I'll try and ship them before card class so you guys can stamp with me. Card class isn't, virtual card class isn't until the end of April. So um, the last Tuesday of the month we'll do that. All right, my friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. I will be back next week with a new edition and I hope you have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.